What up y'all, Chargers Truther, coming to you after a week 10 loss to the Detroit Lions, 41 to 38, it was a shootout. I'm here in an Inglewood motel. Uh, I went to the game, had a pretty good time, you know. Uh, it was a shootout, it was fun to be there. Uh, just sucks to lose this game, and especially the way that we did, as I'll get to, I think just the lack of physicality. You know, they outrushed us, they beat us in the trenches. We needed Justin Herbert to be a superhero with Keenan Allen, Eckler was there too. Um, just rely, we're just relying way too much on Justin Herbert to do everything for us. M poor management by Tom Telesco in his 11th season. 11th, uh, it's it, he's in his 11th year as our GM, has a losing record. Justin Herbert in his fourth season, and we're four and five. That just doesn't make sense. We need to get rid of this general manager, Tom Telesco. We'll give him to the end of the season. Season's not over. We can still make the playoffs and stuff, but we need to start winning these games. But... It just looks like things have not changed at all. Just weakness in the run game, weakness in the defense, you know, lack of physicality, getting beaten by, you know, the the Detroit Lions beat us with their offensive line. Uh, we couldn't really stop them at all. Um, we have a better quarterback in Justin Herbert, but overall our team is not better and the record shows. So, yeah, you know, uh, a big part of this I'm going to talk about is, you know, how the Detroit Lions handle their player, you know, their team building. And a big part is drafting their running back, Jameer Gibbs, in the first round. Of course, we were all, you know, you know, skeptical of this, you know, oh, you know, that seems pretty high for Jameer Gibbs, but the Detroit Lions are valuing the rush game. That's what the Chargers are lacking, you know? People are like, oh, you don't draft a running back in the first round. You don't pay running backs. You don't invest. You get in one in the late rounds. That all need you need to shut up with that. That's that is nonsense. When you need to run the ball, you pay for it. You go invest it. And if you don't, you don't you're not gonna expect to run the ball. I knew that we were not gonna be good at running the ball this season because we didn't invest in it. Things don't just magically come together. You have to you get what you pay for. And we're not paying for it, we're not gonna get it. And Lions do pay for it, they do get it, you know? Um and that's one of the most frustrating things with this team, year after year after year, neglecting the rush offense, neglecting, you know, the physicality aspect of football. You know, we think that Justin Herbert can just, you know, superhero us to wins, just keep throwing the ball. Justin Herbert threw it like 40 times, you know, because we ran the ball, we had a 3.5 average. Um, just just bad, you know, just we're not learning from our mistakes year after year. Tom Telesco is making the same mistakes. You know, last year we were 30th in rushing, 30th in yards per carry, and what do we do? We draft a receiver first round. That doesn't make any sense, you know. We need to address our weaknesses. You know, we had like the worst, we had the 28th ranked rush defense, 28th dead last in yards per carry given up, and we, we didn't even get a defensive tackle. You know, it's the middle of the field is one of the most important parts of, you know, the rush defense. And yeah, we got Thule, another D end. We got pass rushers. We're addressing the pass, you know, the pass rush, but not the rush defense. And, you know, these are really massive parts of football. I just don't think that our general manager is addressing. Um, so anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to get to these stats in a second, but here I'm drinking a freaking Vita Rain zero zero calorie because honestly we we don't really have a lot of calories on our team it, it seems like we need to get more more calories we need to get more meat more aggression more physicality I want to start biting people's kneecaps like Dan Campbell said that's the type of team I want to be it's not a you know it's not a surprise that okay it's surprising that they're what seven and two now but it's not a surprise that they're winning games and they're beating teams you know they're doing well because they're prioritizing physicality and aggression this is football this is not flag football this is not two-hand touch this is you know put the helmet on and go hit people in the face um we should be dominating the line of scrimmage and and it just i just don't see it i'm just haven't seen it i don't even remember the last time i did see it from the chargers so cheers this is a zero calorie freaking vitamin water yeah not not much there honestly it's really not much in here yeah it's really like whatever it's whatever that that this Chargers team besides Herbert and Keenan Allen and a handful of other players you know it's just like whatever 
Um, Got to give respect to our, our team, though. Obviously, these guys are all soldiers. They're all warriors. Nothing but respect to our players. But as a whole, you know, just just missing that aggression, that physicality, that dominance in the trenches, that run the ball down your throat, hit people in the face. Um, and it comes from the general managers. I don't, I'm not blaming the players that we have. I'm blaming our management and our ownership and the white collar people that are running this team. And that's the real problem with this team. It's not the players. It's, it's the people that sit behind the desk making decisions. It's their faults. It's Tom Telesco. This guy is a loser. I don't think he's very strong. He's not a very strong leader. And um, if you don't have a strong leader, then how do you expect to have a strong team? Doesn't It's just, come on, guys. Come on. Going to these stats, Jared Goff, 23. Uh, I'll start with the Chargers. Going to these stats, Justin Herbert, 27 for 40, 323, four touchdowns and an interception, zero picks. Played great. Without Justin Herbert, we don't have a chance in hell. No chance in hell. Justin Herbert played literally like a superhero. He would have won us that game if he would have gotten that ball back, but he didn't. So um, our defense couldn't get a stop. Going to rushing, Austin Eckler, 19 carries, 67 yards, one touchdown, long of 17. Um... The total team rushed for 28 times, 98 yards, one touchdown, 3.5 average. Just not good enough, you know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the, the Lions rushing in a second, but Jared Goff, 23 for 33, 333 yards, two touchdowns. Jared, Jared Goff played very well as well. Threw it less times, though. Um, had some more yards, but it was a lot of yak. Our defense was just, um, you know, disorganized, it seemed like. Just letting guys get into space and stuff. <clears throat> Looking at their rush attack, David Montgomery, whatever, their team stats, 31 carries, 200 yards, three touchdowns, and a long of 75, 6.5 yard average. They're, de they're beating us in the trenches. They're, they're two dimensional as they should be. They hand the ball off and succeed. And then Jared Goff is succeeding in the, in the pass. We are one dimensional. We can't run the ball. I don't know how you guys expect to, to have a better rush game, have a better offense when we're not investing in it. We're just running it back with the same Austin Eckler and Josh Kelly who are good, but we're not, we're not doing anything about it. We're not seeking change. We're not, we're not improving. We're just staying the same. And um, just incredibly, incredibly, incredibly frustrating. We're four and five. We have Justin Herbert. We should be better every single year. We're talking about, oh, we should have Super Bowl hopes. You know, we should. We do have Justin Herbert. We should have Super Bowl hopes. But it's a team game. And, you know, to be successful, you need to have the whole team. You need to have everything clicking on all cylinders. You cannot be just neglecting things and letting weaknesses linger. We're just letting our weaknesses linger and stay. If you don't address and invest in these weaknesses, they're, they're not going to go away. They're going to stay there. And... You know, what I'm proposing is go get a beast running back, a, a freaking first round running back to pair with Eckler or to pair with somebody, someone who's actually going to smash the ball up the middle. And, you know, we need to invest in the running in the running back position and the rush offense in general. Keep adding to that offensive line. Get some tight ends or something, you know, get, you know, prioritize size, aggression, physicality and experience, too, when you when you're going after veterans. But um, guys that can move people off the line, big, strong guys that are that are dominant, you know, invest. Stop just investing in the receivers, in the cornerbacks, in, you know, in the quarterback. Um, invest in the nasty parts of football. And that's how I think that we can become a great team. And I just, Tom Telesco has been here long enough. It's He's, he's had more than enough opportunity to get things together, and he just, so far, he hasn't done it. He's been a, a complete failure, and he's wasting our time. He's wasting all of our lives. He's wasting Justin Herbert's life. He's wasting Keenan Allen, Austin Eckler, all these guys' lives. Everyone's getting wasted on the Chargers, um, and it's just so frustrating, you know? It's Tom Telesco. It's the owners. Those guys are the problem, and that's really all I got to say about that. It's really frustrating. Lost to a very good team. All credit to, to the Lions. Uh, they're a good team. They're seven and two for a reason. But we should be better. We should we should be a seven and two team. You know why are we settling for, you know, just being a mediocre, like five hundred team? Just not good enough. I, I don't know what to say. It's just like I'm tired of seeing the same thing over and over and over again, guys. Um, 
And that's really all I got to say. Cheers. Whatever. That was a whatever. I mean, as a whole, nothing but respect. Justin Herbert, great quarterback. Eckler, great player in his role. Keenan Allen, one of the greatest receivers of all time. Bosa, great. Khalil Mack, great. Derwin's very good. Um, respect to all of our players. Just frustrating, guys. I, 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 you know, hope that you guys understand where I'm coming from. Um, not trying to be annoying or anything like that, but I'm, I'm upset with these mainstream people talking about you don't invest in run in, in the pre, they're talking about premium positions oh you just edge rushers and just receivers ignoring the rest of the of the team you know when you have deficiencies for example in running back and offensive line and defensive tackle and these you know important positions you <laughs> fuck premium positions go put the money towards what you need you know, stop with this nonsense. It's holding us back. These mainstreamers are holding us back and we need to wake up and we need to invest where we need to invest, where we're struggling at. And it is what it is. You know, you don't just, oh, late round picks. You could get them in the late rounds. Where are they at then? Where are they? We don't, we haven't found them. So if, you're, if it's not working, throw some money at it, make it happen, you know? Stop waiting for things to get better. Stop just waiting. No more waiting. Do it. Let's do it. Let's be aggressive. Um, yeah, that's all. Thanks.